Hey all, uh, back here with the uh, LED music visualization project. <clears throat> um, see here's the power switch uh, with the lighted LED ring, I really like that. Um, and there's the power switch coming in and there's a whole bunch of... You can look for the way that I have that hooked up. If you look at the Christmas Slice controller uh, videos, it'll show how I hooked that switch up. It's the same exact switch. Um, <clears throat> this down here, uh, with this little ribbon cable, that is connected to the, uh, 4x4 keypad, which I'm going to use to allow you to turn on different effects. <clears throat> uh, the Arduino, and, uh, and the sound... Uh, spectrum board are in this nice little enclosure. Uh, this is the USB cable connecting it to the computer so I can upload a uh, different code to it. This is the power also coming off of that power switch. Um, these two here are extension cables that I built for the uh, spectrum analyzer board and <clears throat> I'm just going to mount them you know, it's hard to show here but I'm going to mount them through the side for input and output there and let's see let me set this up I've got a little test program running well I'll let it fall over And you can see there are, uh, like right here and there and there and up here and there, there are some shadows. Um, that's just cables on the inside of the, uh, oh, little LED cubes that I need to reopen it up and make sure that they're out of the way so they're not casting shadows. But you can see it's, uh, you know, a little test program it was running through, you know, not even close to all of the colors, but uh, this is just a good way to demonstrate what it can do. And again, there's just uh, one power cable, powers everything. It goes over to a little uh, wall wart. Uh, I've got this set on six volts. I did have this whole thing connected with a 12 volt uh, wall wart but that was pushing too much power through the Arduino pins to uh, try and control the lights so that it would only before the board would shut down it wouldn't be very long you know it could run 30 seconds or so before the Arduino would shut down due to the, the temperature but um, with this uh, with this one set on 6 volts everything seems to be uh, working wonderfully now I'm noticing here as I'm videoing this that it looks in this video like each cube's very got a lot a very bright hotspot, and that's not the case. Um, I don't know why it shows up differently uh, on this camera, but um, the colors are all very smooth. There are no there are no severe hotspots like you're seeing uh, on this video. Uh, so next step is, uh, you know, pull the thing apart, get, you know, get all of these cables that are causing shadows out of the way and then the rest of it's, it's all code. So I'm pretty happy with that.